Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, here we are. Michael Williams uh, did a joke Samurai Jack video earlier, a few hours ago. Um, apparently, guys are triggered. You weren't a fan. Well, half of you were. Half of you enjoyed it and appreciated the humor. Um, half of you didn't. So, here are my actual thoughts. You can stick around, or if you hate me forever, you can leave. Uh, there you go. So anyway, <laughs> here are my thoughts on the Samurai Jack review. This is my actual thoughts, and I figure, you know what, I owe you guys an actual review. I was probably gonna do an actual review anyway, but whatever. It happened. It's it's whatever. So, here are my thoughts. Um, these are gonna be really quick thoughts because I'm actually going out of town, and I have, like, a ton of Steven Universe stuff that I have to do, like, in bulk before I leave, so I can just edit them while I'm there. And it's just a whole mess of stuff, and Wanted's on the way, and we were waiting for leaks to happen, and it's just, I'm gonna be running around like crazy for a while. So, this isn't gonna be a proper video, this is just gonna be a still image, so if you have some laundry you gotta do, if you wanna have it on the background while you browse your Tumblrs or your Twitters, or whatever, that would be the thing to do. I'm just gonna keep this still image, kinda talk about it, podcast style, sort of, and give my thoughts, but the, everything, for the most part... My, if you watch the video, you probably understand how I feel about it. Or if you follow me on Twitter, hey, you should follow me on Twitter. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw my thoughts on the finale. And long story short, I felt like most of the issues I had with it, and these aren't all the issues, but most of the issues I had with it was that it was super, super duper rushed. Um, it felt like it should have easily been at least an hour long episode. And this is confusing to me. Because I feel like Gendy, because Gendy Tartakovsky, when I saw him um, at the live event, for those who don't know, I did a live, went to a live event when right before Samurai Jack, the season five premiered, and they did a whole big theater thing, and they put the first three episodes together as one big movie, and it was an awesome event. And he was there, Gendy was doing an interview with Tom Kenny, and he explained that, you know, he reached out to them and asked them for 10 episodes. Like, they asked him how many episodes he wanted. And he said 10. That's what he said in the interview. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said. That he said that he wanted 10 episodes. And I feel like this this entire season, that finale, everything could have been fixed had it been just an episode or two or three longer. Because the pacing was fast throughout the season, but I figured it was like, you know what? It's just, it's pacing a little fast, but they're trying to get somewhere. You know what I mean? And I get it. They have 10 episodes. And it's all going to get somewhere and it will make sense by the end. But it didn't. The end just felt like a mess. It just all came and went. And it was pretty anticlimactic. I'm not going to lie. Like, I felt like I almost got cheated. <laughs> and I'm not even someone who watched Samurai Jack that faithfully as a kid. Like, I watched it casually. But I know some of you guys have been really big fans of Samurai Jack since the beginning, since the original series. And have been waiting for 16 years. And I just feel like I don't know how I would feel had that been the case because yeah it's good to get closure and finally know what happened but yo <laughs> that was extremely fast and it felt like nothing happened. but we'll get to all the little nitty gritty in a second but it was just really rushed that was my main issue it was super rushed they should have made that an hour easy and like i said i think they probably could have done to do like an extra two or three episodes um, I, again, I don't know why again he would have made it 10 episodes. He should have done longer or at least compensated better, I feel like. Um, it's just It was just pretty disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy that finale. I had mixed feelings at first because I was just so thrown back by everything that was happening at once in the span of 22 minutes. But I personally now that I've simmered on it, I am not a fan. I'm not a fan of how that concluded. Um, first of all, it was rushed. It was just like, oh, we got to do this. Uh, no, this is happening. Okay, uh, now we can do this. We can do this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It was just like constantly just moving places and not giving any time to process or feel things. It was just doing things constantly, which is ironic because Jack has, oh, Samurai Jack has always been about taking their time and really dramatic long pauses and building intensity. And it was just so crazy to just see them blow through this in an instant. It was actually like the complete opposite of everything the series has been from the beginning. And it just like completely took a downturn. And so I'm just going to real quick problems. Uh, Aku's death was super lame. Uh, the music didn't feel made me feel like this was this grandiose moment that we've been waiting for forever. It's finally happening. No, it just happened. And then they dealt with it and it was over the end. Um, that was an issue. That was lame. Aku's death was super, super underwhelming. Um... I think I don't the Ashi thing. Here's the thing. Okay, 
I'm going to be real. I, I didn't care about Joshi. Okay, I was I didn't care if it was a thing or if it wasn't a thing as long as it worked. And personally, up until this episode, I thought it worked. I thought it made sense. I thought it worked. And I was okay with how it fit into the plot. And even though it does technically make sense, quote unquote, now the way they put it all together, it's it, they kind of dropped the ball. I feel like because I feel like last episode where it was like, oh, no, now Ashi's Aku and she's transformed and she's under his control. And now Jack can't fe- defeat Aku. Like that was a cool twist. It had a purpose for the plot. And it was, it was really awesome. I like the way they did that. But then they kind of just threw that out and they just kind of made it cheesy. And now and now for me, because I didn't feel like this completely before a lot of people did and which is understandable a lot of people felt like it was a forced romantic subplot i didn't really feel like that i felt like it made sense given the context of the characters but now it felt like a super duper <laughs> forced romantic subplot after that because it was like oh she's under curse oh i love you joshi oh and i'm i'm ashi now i love you joshi i love you ashi and then all the aku stuff melts away oh, i'm free from his clutches from the power of love and it was just like it was just very it was it was a little much it was kind of cliche and then they all all the people who came over the years who jack has helped came to help him and they just died and uh, Aku's she just has aku's powers like oh i can make a time portal here's the sword time to go back to the past bam done and uh, we had no time to like simmer on any of the characters any of the characters we got to know over the years we not the even the scots especially the scotsman we can get any like real true bonding moments last one last bonding moment between jack and the scotsman nothing the dogs died the jump men (laughs) died everyone just getting bodied left and right which would have been fine but we didn't get any real emotional connection to them at the end they're just there just to reference the original series that was annoying we got nothing we didn't i didn't feel anything and then ashi didn't stop existing after he killed aku and then she died at the wedding boy she died and then she faded. It's like, why did it take that long for her to fade? Just for convenience? Convenience because it's more dramatic? Oh, Jack and Ashi's going to get married. Everything's great. Oh, no, she died and faded. Uh, what? <laughs> what? She should have died immediately. Why did she take that long to die? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. And the problem is we didn't have enough of emotional of an emotional attachment to Ashi for that to really be impactful. So like that was only kind of impactful and it was like bittersweet, but it was like is that really what we're like I, I feel like it would have been more bittersweet and more interesting had he stayed in the future because he can't go back in the past started the future with ashi had a baby got married and is all happy and he's living in the future with the new people that he's met in the future and they rebuild society together that would have made more sense that would have been a much cooler much more interesting bittersweet ending because this was bittersweet too but that would have been a better bittersweet ending i think personally and i know a lot of other people in the community also feel very similarly, um, Ostrovox just put out all of his thoughts on our Discord, and I agreed with every single point. Um, and it just, I don't know. I don't, I, I was disappointed. <laughs> I actually don't think that was a good finale, which is a shame because it's Samurai Jack and it's a great show. And Gandhi knows what he's doing. These writers know what they're doing, but it's, it, it didn't end well. It didn't end well. They just kind of blew through their load, and it sucks. Like I said, if this was an hour-long special, I think they could have made it tighter. Even if, even if the Jack and Ashi thing happened at the end, wouldn't have been the ending I would have wanted, but I would have understood it. It would have made, it would have been at least a little more impactful, I feel like, if they had it that extra time. Aku's death would have been more impactful, but they just rushed through everything, right? It just completely rushed through everything. They sh- like I said, I would have said like 12, 13 episodes, like easy for this type of series. And I don't know, like they didn't compensate enough because the season started off really, really strong, really good. And then it just kind of sort of was wavering for a bit. It was still good. It was still enjoyable, still interesting, but it just kind of wavered for a bit and they just kind of dropped the ball. And like, I, it's just for me, for me personally, and I just feel like they dropped the ball really hard. Um, after all these years, after five seasons of a show, they finally dropped the ball. And it, I just, I don't know, I wasn't happy with it. So th- those are my thoughts. That's it. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. I might be. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was super happy with it. I had mixed feelings initially, and then now I'm just kind of like, eh, this was not great. Not a great 
piece of television. Um, it just was really rushed. Like I said, most of the content in it was good. It just they just blew through it too fast. You know what I mean? The Scotsman was good. Seeing all the old characters that was cool. You know what I mean? I like the little Easter egg that like the original intro with uh, Mako voicing Aku. That's actually canon. I like that little fi- that little thing they threw in. The final battle was cool in theory, but it just kind of got. It was gone in an instant, and it, we had no time to simmer over the drama. I and mean, that's, like I said, that is so incredibly ironic, considering what Samurai Jack has been since the beginning. It's all about building tension and simmering on the drama, and we didn't get any of that. It just, it just kind of all happened. So, yeah, and that's like the kind of see the duality of shows because you re- pacing is so important. And I don't think people even realize how important it is because Steven Universe's pacing is way too freaking slow. Way too slow. <laughs> way too many Beach City episodes all in a row, especially since it's 11 minutes long. It's just like we have to wait a week and then wait on these long hiatuses. Steven Universe pacing is super slow. And then this is a good example of pacing that is too fast. There's too much action, too much happening at once. We don't have enough time to care and build a connection. So that's a good example of that. So for... <laughs> There's a balance you have to reach, and you have to know when to get a little slow and know when to speed it up. Um, a good example, um, I don't know if, how many of you watch it, is obviously it's a big show, Game of Thrones. Um, Game of Thrones is a great example of pacing, because like a lot of people complain, like, oh, it's too slow. And I bring this example up, up a lot, but a lot of people are like, oh, it's too slow, like season six was too slow. But it's like they were building chess pieces, and you could see that they were building chess pieces. And then come the final two episodes, it all came together in this amazing, epic thing that worked and it only worked because they took their time and then they got fast right but samurai jack and obviously it's a very different format it's not an hour long it's only 22 minutes completely different thing but there's the principle still there you still could have found a way i feel like to pace this better i don't know how maybe i can do a video on that in the future kind of like sit and analyze like what i would have done had i only had 10 episodes what would i what, what would i have done with this story arc how would i would have how would i blah, 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 how would i have handled it um i might i might do something like that uh later on like weeks from now because there's just so much to cover but yeah that's it so jack is over it is over i'm curious to know what you guys think about this episode were you disappointed like i was were you kind of indifferent, uh, mixed feelings like I initially had? Or did you really enjoy it? And if you enjoyed it, I really want to know why you thought you enjoyed it, what you you know felt really resonated with you, what your argument is. Because I'm very curious because I want to like this finale. <laughs> like I don't want to not like this finale. I w- wish this was something that I really enjoyed, but I just didn't. And it sucks because the season itself was really good and the series itself is really good. But the ending was just kind of all thrown together. Um, kind of similar to Gravity Falls, honestly. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And especially if you're tuning in from the last video and you hated it. Uh, yeah. Sorry for triggering you. <laughs> um, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to watch more stuff like this about animation, might do some Samurai Jack uh, retrospectives in the near future. Be sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can know when we post this type of stuff and we talk about tons of cartoons if you're new here. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and not leave me with a lightsaber dislike bar for trolling. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I've been Michael Williams. You've been watching Cartoon Universe and we will see you in the next video. Peace.